I envision a sustainable Philippines? Well, I think it all starts with a more conscious citizenry where people are more conscious about how they eat, how they buy, and how nothing should go to waste. I think when we start with a mindset like that, then we can have a more sustainable Philippines. A sustainable Philippines is our beloved country flourishing as God intended it to be. Its people are happy, content, progressive, and conscious of their responsibility as good citizens and consumers. Industries protect and respect their workers as workers protect and respect their employers. Our natural resources are not abused by industry. Instead, they are used wisely and thoughtfully and even protected so that future generations may have the benefit of enjoying an environment that is hospitable, healthy, lush, verdant and vibrant with the flora and fauna that will set it apart from other Asian countries. A country where individuals and organizations make intentional, responsible consumption and production every single time. Where all cities are sustainable and communities meet their own goals without compromising future generations to meet their own needs. I hope and envision for a sustainable community whereas people of our country share a common purpose and that is to acknowledge our future without reducing the resources that maintain them. Let us continue to promote, educate, and share with everyone how to better understand and embrace a sustainable living. I hope for a sustainable Philippines wherein everybody has jobs, there is no poverty, we have responsible government, there is clean environment, and everybody believes in God. A sustainable Philippines is grounded on life-focused, Bible-centric values that transcends the future generations. A sustainable Philippines foster development through human perspective in rights reform, greener environmental considerations, agribusiness partnerships, and strengthens to empower the integrated ecosystem, making impact to the people. Hello. Um, I envision the sustainable Philippines where we have a clean environment, not only outdoors or in our cities, but also in our workplaces. I am Gabby Avante, a biology sophomore from DLSC Manila, and I envision a Philippines that is aware, educated, and willing to take action to pursue a sustainable society for all. for a sustainable Philippines to get to the point where we ensure ecological integrity, clean and healthy environment, where we expand economic opportunities in agriculture, fishery and forestry, and when we ensure a people-centered, clean and efficient governance. I think this is how I envision sustainable Philippines. Hello, I am Mocario SD1, an undergraduate student of De La Salle University, Manila. And I envision a sustainable Philippines where every Filipino is responsible enough to take a stand and to take action on the current state and the future fate of our country, particularly the environment and its people. I envision a sustainable Philippines where every Filipino is walking on the same path and working on the same goal, to nourish the environment and make this world a better place, not just for our own generation, but more especially for the generations to come. A nation that is willing to work with nature to create a brighter future. A sustainable Philippines is when every Filipino works for the good of the country, economically, socially, and environmentally, making it a better place to live in forever. A sustainable Philippines will mean self-sufficiency in food, clean energy, and clean potable water everywhere. Plastic production, usage, and disposal will be better handled. Pollution will be at levels that do not adversely affect the health of people, animals, and plants. Lastly, the government will truly be focused on the needs of the people in all respects so that there is less waste in fuel, time, and health. I would like to see Sustainable PH catalyze a movement of responsible stewards who conserve and preserve the rich natural resources of the Philippines 
so that every Filipino can have access to basic human needs of food, clothing, and shelter. So that every Filipino can have an equal opportunity to thrive and flourish in his own country because we are Sustainable PH. My future vision for a sustainable Philippines is that we can create loads of new jobs and a great economy from healing the planet and the opportunity for our children to breathe clean air, have clean and fresh water, and harmony with nature. I hope for a sustainable Philippines where everyone can have access to basic services like quality education and healthcare, and also um, enjoy uh, clean air and environment, live in sustainable cities, and have decent jobs, and be protected by justice. Hi, good evening. Hello, everyone. Um, uh, welcome again to uh, Luchi's channel. Uh, we will play the OBB for you. Hi, good evening everyone. Good to see you again here in Luchi's channel. Uh, thank you so much for uh, following, following us here in Sustainable PH, uh, our new home, the new home of Luchi's channel, wherein we talk not only about the economy, but also the environment and social cultural uh, uh, factors, not social cultural things that uh, we need to address in, in life, in the society. Um, we have a very uh, special uh, show for tonight. It's very interesting. Uh, it's about, uh, you know, hobbies that you pick up during lockdown uh, because I know, um, I know that you guys will agree with me. A lot has changed during this lockdown. Uh, we're, um, uh, you can't really go out. There's no movies. There's no shopping. There's no gimmicks. But um, life goes on. Eh? And uh, people found uh, a new hobby to uh, um, to uh, make their time productive and interesting. And that is what we're going to share. Uh, we're going to talk about tonight. But before we talk about that, before I introduce you to our new topic, let me uh, do a recap of uh, the last episode. The last episode's title was How Hope Can Spring in a Pandemic. And then we had a guest, a good friend, Miss Nessie Guao, Giao, uh, who is from the U.S. She is a writer and uh, um, she is a strong Christian. And uh, what's amazing about that uh, story that we did last episode is she does her... Um, she shares her talents by uh, writing materials that would be encouraging to other people. Um, she is editor and uh, a creative, uh, creative uh, person in this uh, magazine in the U.S., which is called Megamorphosis. And what they do is they uh, locate, they find uh, inspiring stories of people, and then they write about them. So with the purpose of when you read that, the material, no, you yourself will get inspired and you will get encouraged. So that was a very good show we had last uh, week. But nonetheless, uh, it's a new show tonight and uh, we have a very good show for tonight. Uh, the title of our show for tonight is Hobbies That Emerge During the Lockdown. Hobbies That Has Emerged during the lockdown okay i'm sure a lot of you um because of this lockdown 
na, um, parati kayo na sa bahay, you can't really go out kasi syempre, hindi natin may iwasan, natatakot tayo mahawa sa COVID. Um, a lot of you found new hobbies. Um, y- uh, yung iba dyan, learn how to cook. Uh, before, hindi sila, they don't go to the kitchen, they feel alienated whenever they're in the kitchen. Pero, um, Uh, they 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 learn how to cook. I have a very good friend who is uh, my co-host here in this show. Her name is Kathy. Uh, she is uh, still not able to uh, join us because she's recovering from um, her surgery. But soon, you will see her soon. I know you miss her, pero babalik siya. Now, si Kathy, uh, she is a corporate, uh, corporate girl and... Uh, She is an executive for uh, for her her, uh, her last employment in Alpha Lamb, and um, she is always on the go. And uh, she doesn't know how to cook. Pero uh, during this quarantine, no, during this pandemic, uh, aba natuto. Hindi lang nagluluto, nagbibig pa. Ah. So um, uh, one of our sponsors here in uh, Sustainable PH is her uh, baking. Uh, business which she calls Kathy's Kitchen and uh, apparently uh, when she learned how to bake it was really good uh, to the point that binibili ng tao uh, people are actually ordering her brownies so so there um, just to mention uh, an, um, another co-host and a good friend na si Ian she can't, uh, she'll try to follow no, uh, in tonight's episode she's stuck in uh, the office She's doing payroll. Alam nyo naman, payroll ngayon eh. So, uh, well, uh, good news for everyone kasi sweldo na naman, but not so good news for her because she needs to work overtime. Uh, okay, so that's that. Um, maraming mga hobbies, uh, I have to mention, it naging negosyo rin. It turned into a business. Uh, we have a friend na he loves to cook. No, he loves to cook. Um, he cooks for his friends and, you know, family, ganyan. Pero come this uh, quarantine, um, it gave him this opportunity to start his own business. So uh, what was first a hobby wherein he was very passionate about turned into a business. So, um, yeah, uh, you would say that uh, the COVID crisis is the great disruptor that um, it affected everyone. Maraming nagbago, a lot changed. But, uh, but there are things that changed for the bad, but there are also things that changed for the good. And our topic for tonight is the things that actually changed for the good. Um, again, no? the title of our show for tonight is Hobbies that emerge during the lockdown okay um let me introduce to you our guests for tonight uh they're very good friends they're church mates uh we have two guests for tonight no um the first one she is a film student from mint college a volunteer producer of the visual team of sustainable ph our ngo and founder of Manila Plant Trade. Uh, please welcome Bernice Fojas. Hi, everyone. Hi, Carla. Thank you. Thank Hi, you for Bernice. having me here. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing today? Um, we're doing really good here. Um, I'm just spending the weekend. Actually, I'm spending this week with my family. Okay, okay. I see in your background that you have plants there. Our topic <laughs> for tonight is about your plants, right? Yes. Those are my mom's plants, though. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I have lots of questions about, uh, you know, um, your new, your hobby, your your love, no, about plants. Uh, later, no. Uh, first, I'll introduce also our other guest. Um, she is a mother of two, uh, two beautiful young professionals. One is a doctor. Another is an engineer, a regular viewer of our show, Luchi's Channel. Wow, thank you so much. Churchmate and group good friend, founder of Grace and Green. Uh, please welcome to the show, Miss Leia Guillermo. 
Hello, Carlo. Hello, Bernice. Hi, Leia. Good evening. How about you? Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Great. Great. Ah, Kanina okay. kinakabahan ako, but knowing Bernice is here, <laughs> hindi na ako kinakabahan. <laughs> Oh, Yan ang talagang plant expert eh. Oo, oh, para, parang nasa church lang tayo, guys. Okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, ito, no, uh, out of the goodness of their hearts, no, si Lea at saka si uh, Bernice, um, they both love plants. Um, let's ask them later if their hobby turned into a business already, no, or are they planning to turn it into a business? We'll find out later, no. Pero uh, we have a special treat for our guests for uh, for our audience for tonight. Um, both Bernice and Leia will be giving out six plants, uh, plantitos and plantitas. They will give six plants to the viewers who can answer. Uh, wait, there, look at those. Uh, those are the plants that we're going to give out tonight. Shucks, that's really nice. Huh? <laughs> there. Okay. So uh, we're going to ask, here is, here is the mechanics of our uh, contest. We will ask six questions, okay? These six questions will not be asked at one time, uh, one question will will be asked at a time, uh, probably in 10 minutes span, ganyan, difference, uh, during the show. And then um, if you know the answer, please write it in the comments, okay? Our tech admin guy, Kim, uh, he will check your comments and we will choose the winners randomly okay ano to, uh, um, there's no other way to go about it eh. the first comment that kim sees is the winner and then at the end of the show we will just communicate with you through messenger on how we can give you the plans okay so uh, before we start with the interview uh, let's let's start off with the first question Okay, this is the first question uh, for our contest. What is the title of our episode for tonight? Nako, I repeated that three times. Kanina. Uh, Paulit-ulit ko sinasabi. Okay, uh, I know madaldal ako so baka nalilito kayo. Pero um, that's the question. Uh, I'll repeat it. What is the title of our episode for tonight? Okay, so write it down in the comments and then... Right now, we will proceed with our interview with these two lovely ladies. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you first, uh, Bernice and Leia, okay? Um, when did you realize, or how did it go about, no? Parang, uh, um, you realized that you like or love plants. How did it happen to you guys? Was it during the pandemic or pre-pandemic pa? Bernice? Uh, um, actually, for me, it was when I was a kid kasi I grew up in Los Banos. So, I, I I grew up in the middle of the forest. Lalaro ko everyday sa mga puno. Wow. Pipitas okay. lang ng lakitan, kakainan, ganon. And okay. I always wanted to sell plants. But throughout the years, I, I never had the time to care and to sell them here in Metro Manila kasi we're in a condo city. And then, yeah, yeah. Some, uh, no lockdown, big lang opportunity to sell or and to, to care for plants and to grow them. Okay, so, so you're selling yeah. plants now. Um, it all happened during the lockdown. Yes. Uh -oh. But it's always been a dream of mine before. Actually, I owned oh a few God. plants, but it wasn't as much as now because uh -oh. I, I, I didn't have time to care for it because of my school and my work so but now since we're ano pandemic pa rin. <laughs> okay wow so you you've been a plant lover pala all your life wow that that's yeah. uh, really great to hear <laughs> how about you leah how did it start for you you love more for I, plants ako naman i know when now my better half and i plant our own home we really okay. wanted a big garden where our kids can play and run around so, ang okay. una namin tinanim noon, mag-hogany trees. 
Mm. So, mm. so yeah. thinking ahead na sabi ni Nell uh, in five years time, kasi wala pa kaming kids noon, I was eight months pregnant with Celine. Sabi okay, niya, okay. this, ano, um, uh, in five years, maglala- malaki na to, parang gano'n. Tsaka, ano eh, uh, naman na rin ni Nell sa parents niya. Kasi yung mga magulang niya talagang farmer si Itay, mahilig siya magtanim. And also, yeah. yung nanay niya, si Inay, sobrang hilig mag-garden. Pero okay. yung love ko, but my love for cacti started on May 1, last year lang. Kasi yeah. nagkaroon ng bazaar for homeschoolers, tapos nagtitinda si siya ng cacti. Uh, siya ni okay. Tal, that's kind of a good friend of our churchmate then, Peter G. And we got these three cacti, and eventually, dumami na sila ng dumami. Tapos, okay. I was surprised na sobrang ganda pala ng flowers ng mga cacti. Oh. Kaya yun na. So, so, na addict na ako. That's when my love for gardening grew. Because of the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi hindi ko nga alam nice. na ang flowers nila before. So, yeah. nagulat na lang kami pag uwi namin. Uh, umalis na yung bakasyon kami sa Puerto Galera. Pag uwi namin, may flower. Yeah. So, wow. parang, nakakatawa na eh, hindi mo naman inaalagaan. Tapos nagpa-flower. Ganun. Parang yeah. hindi sila talaga ano. Yeah, that started my ano cacti collection. Wow. wow. <laughs> that's that's nice Leia. Um I'm sure a lot of our audience now is very interested with our topic. Uh kasi nauso ito, no? you can see it all over social media in Facebook and Instagram. A lot of people are so into plants now. They call it plantitos and plantitas. Uh, it's like a uh, uh, a raving thing no in social media. Okay. Um First question no, uh, goes to Leia. No? I'll ask you, Leia. Who or what wheeled you into this hobby? When did you start and what was your first plan? Your first plan. Tell us your story. Oh, yun. As, as I mentioned kanina, yun nga, mm. yung three cacti. At it's, at it, I think it's Saduwi cacti, um, crown, c- crown cacti, yung binili ko kay ano binili ko kay Sean that ano ah, okay. tsaka yung yun nga yung day flower eh parang flower, sobrang okay. na-amaze ako na I- ibang klase yung flowers nila Carlo ikaw ba yeah, alam mo yeah. na yung flower grabe eh ang ganda talaga okay. so yun talaga yung nag-start for me plus super ano um, oo oh, super ganda if we can just play the video later, makikita nila kung gaano kaganda yung mga cacti, mga cacti flowers. Sige, let's try to play the video later. May, kan- may konting copyright issues lang tayo, pero let's try to play it later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Leia. How about, uh, to you naman, Bernice, why do you think growing plants became a hobby and for, and for some, a business during lockdown? Well, I think it became a hobby because people had time. Parang me, I, I've always loved plants, pero I had the opportunity to have time because we were all forced to lock down in our own homes. And yeah. I think it became a business it's for people like me, na bigyan na kaya ng time to do something mm-hmm. since most of us are not used to being still or to not going out. Because it's not like before, na laging lumalabas, laging may ginagawa. But now na we don't have anything to do nung, nung quarantine, yeah. then people had the opportunity to think of something to do. Yung iba nag-plants, yung iba nag-baking, like Tita sure. Kathy. Uh, yeah. uh, and then yung, yung, some people actually started making furniture, ganon. Oh, wow, uh, no way. Mm. There are people who make furniture na. Parang they yeah, learned, the, hobby they learned the hobby. Okay, okay. That's really cool. Okay. So a question, lang, Bernice, no? a follow-up question. Um, so you're doing this as a business now. Uh, it's something that you love. Um, and by the way, uh, let, let me say, uh, um, the most blessed person though in this earth is the one that has his business or his job uh, as a hobby. Because you will never yeah. work a day in your life. <laughs> so uh, I believe in that. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so so question, Bernice, though, how do you ano, parang, how do you raise awareness regarding your products, the plants? Uh, do you do it in Facebook, in social media, or uh through word of mouth? How do you do it? 
actually um for me it's word of mouth i started selling to my neighbors to in my building lang in my condo yeah. and then from there um when i would deliver the plants to trolley ko my mom, people would, would see me and ask me for my contacts and for my page and then online people just sort of found out about it hindi ako nag-advertise or i actually don't post about it on my personal facebook because i feel like parang gusto ko siyang gusto ko separate siya from my own personal facebook parang i don't know why pero i want it to grow organically kasi um the plant business is very fast growing right now so i didn't want to rush off i want to take my time Okay, so again, thank you so much, Bernice. Um, I'll ask the audience another question. No? Um, this is for our contest. Huh? What is the name of our guest who is the founder of Manila Plant Trade? Okay, we have two guests here. Huh? You can write the first name only, either Leia or Bernice. Who is the founder of Manila Plant Trade? If you get it right. You have a chance to win a plan. Okay. Um, Leah, let me ask you this. What do you find most rewarding about growing plants? Nako, the most rewarding for me is feeling God's love through my plants. I feel His love eh, in every mm. single one of my plants in every yeah. flower that blooms and every insect that visits <laughs> it reminds me that life goes on that even though times are uncertain mm -hmm. um god's love for us is certain it makes you want to wake up each morning and see ko ano ba yung surprise sa ni god kasi no two days are the same eh. may mababago at mababago na be it growth or may, may, may flower, may mag, may, mag, 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 mag harvest ka na seeds. God's love is amazing. Wow. That's very interesting. Eh? Uh, number one, I, I love what you said. No? Parang, uh, you said that uh, through the plants, um, you just, uh, you just parang appreciate the creation of the Lord. That's one. Yes. And then secondly, no, you mentioned that uh, it, you, it, that struck me. Huh? You said that no two days is the same. Um, yes. That, oh. uh, okay. Can you expand on that? Sabi Grabe, mo kasi may ano, okay. yung, yung, yung every leaf, parang it's a okay. God's canvas. Eh. No two leaves are the same. No Kaya two leaves are the same. Yes. Oh, ah, yung variation okay, okay. okay. nila and everything. Tsaka, Basta ako kasi, sabi ko nga, if ever, kung sino man na maka, kung makakaya kong magkaroon ng mini garden at kaya na rin ang lahat kasi sobrang tamad ko. But yeah. I just let nature take its course. Kaya sabi ko, how amazing talaga. Si God lang talaga yung nagpo-provide ng lahat ng yun. Wow, that's, that's uh, really I don't nice, take huh? any credit <laughs> for it. <laughs> Yes. That's really nice what you oh said. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no two leaves are the same. It is God's canvas. Quotable yeah. quotes, yeah. Na? That is so <laughs> nice. Um, Bernice, what can you say about companies or individuals selling plants at exorbitant rates nowadays? Shocks! Nangyayari ba to? Kasi ano, sobrang yeah. sikat siguro yung mga plantitas and plantitas ngayon. So meron, meron dito yung talagang uh, nagiging uh, uh, profiteering, no? Profiteering mm -hmm. plants. Also, go ahead, Bernice. Well, I can't blame the people who sell them at a high rate because ang taas ng demand. The demand is crazy. You know, um, there's both pros and cons. Ang taas ng demand, it means more people yeah. are in love with plants, more people are caring for them. At the same time, personally, it's kind of sad because I can't afford mm. most of them anymore. Because okay. <laughs> like, it goes on to 100,000, the plant. No way! And it's an, <laughs> yes, and people are buying and really spending their money on it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, it appears that parang these plants, no? Um, uh, they are now demanding a very high price. So, the question ko is, uh, yung plants na to, 
uh, has it become a status symbol already? Na parang you post it to your Facebook, tapos it everybody is para na iinggit. Wow, ang ganda man ang platform. Tapos it everybody knows that. Shucks, mahal yan eh. I saw that. That's 80,000, something like that. Is it happening na? I think it's an addiction kasi. It's like with any mm-hmm. collecting collecting items, nagiging collecting plants siya. The nice thing about plants is it grows. So you can cut and you can sell. Pero it's an okay. addiction. Actually, I was talking to someone about this the other day na, you know, you have to be content with the plants that you have. Kasi if you let it out of hand, all your money talaga will go to a plant that you really want. Eh? Kasi oh social gosh. media, Instagram, YouTube, yung mga plant communities there. They're, oh they're super gosh. nice. They're very nice communities. Pero it makes you, you know, when you, someone posts something that they have, a plant that ang ganda-ganda, parang ikaw, gusto ko din yan, I'll buy it. Oh Ganun siya. <laughs> So it can get really bad pala, na parang ano. It can get yung, addicting. Uh, it can get yeah. addicting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so sometimes people spend their savings na ganyan because mm-hmm. of plants. Oh, yeah. I did not know that. Ah. I did not know that. Okay. Um, before we go ahead, I'll ask another question to our viewers. Ito, I will give, na mention na ni Bernice, ah, na plants, they don't come cheap right now. Huh? They, they can be really expensive. So um, here's your chance to own a plant for free. What? Here's the question. What is the name of our guest who is the founder of Grace and Greens? Shots. Okay, so dalawa lang sila. Huh? There's Bernice and then there's Leia. So guess, huh? who is the founder of Grace? Greens. Okay. So um, just type in your comments no? uh, and then from the questions, Sikim will uh, choose um, uh, he won't choose uh, parang ano to, this is uh, um, uh, kumbaga random and uh, we will find out who are the winners. Okay. Um, Leia, let me ask you this. No? Kindly give advice to individuals, groups who want to get into this type of business and hobby? Ako siguro what I can advise them is what I learned from my plants. Kasi there are a lot of things that you can learn from them. Una-una, plants are patient. So be patient. Wait for God's divine appointment. Kasi plants bloom in God's appointment time. And so do we. We can never really know kasi talaga which ako ha, eh, ako si Bernice kasi plant expert yan. Pero ako, I can really, really never know which plant will bloom and which plant will thrive. Even if you put plants in a similar environment, there are those who bloom and who do not bloom just yet. So it is okay. important to be patient with our plants and ourselves, especially in this time of waiting and transition. Tapos isa, isa pa yung plants, are, kasi di ba tayo, we tend to overcomplicate things. Pero mm-hmm. plants are simple creatures. They have simple needs. So let nature take its course. Sabi nga ni Bernice, di ba, mamahal na ng plants. So paano kung may mamatayan ka or something, di ba? Just mm-hmm. don't stress about it. Ako kasi, okay. kasi misan yung, yung iba nag stress talaga pag may nakita silang insects. Ang, ter, ang ano nila kagad is to kill those insects. Hmm. Pero kasi there are bad insects and good insects. So better observe muna before putting chemicals to kill insects. Ako kasi I don't put any in my plants. Tsaka actually yung plants are straightforward. They, hmm. they tell you what they need. Kung okay. if they need water, their leaves will droop. E tapos yung, uh, yung, mga, yung sunlight. Yung iba kasi, pag nilagay ko siya sa isang certain location dun sa terrace ko, nagsa-sunburn. So yeah. it's, it's their way of telling you na ilipat mo sila kasi too much sun. Saka ano eh, um, nanotice ko that they adapt to the environment you place them on. Kasi yung iba, kasi wala na nga akong ibang space. 
kahit nasa sunburn sila doon, iniiwa ko pa <laughs> rin doon. Pero they adapt. Tapos gumas, gumanda pa yung leaves nila. So yeah. we just need we just need to be sensitive in their needs from time. Hello? Oh, shots. We lost Leia. Oh my gosh. She may have, uh, to the audience, we apologize. Uh, I think we're approaching technical difficulties. Si Leia got cut off. Probably it's her internet. Uh, is she coming back? Ha, so not yet. Okay. Um, we'll proceed with the interview. Uh, when Leia comes back, we'll just uh, go back to her uh, so that she could continue what she was saying. Um, okay, Bernice, um, let me ask you this question. Uh, Plantitos, has become, uh, Plantitos has become a byword this lockdown. Plantitos and Plantitas, actually, no? Uh, I understand it's in social media during this lockdown. Why do you think this happened? Okay, I thought, uh, like for you, you love plants before the lockdown. But for many people, parang you're saying it's booming now during the mm -hmm. lockdown. So uh, why, why this phenomenon? It's the social media. <laughs> it's the social it's, media, um, okay. Yeah, on YouTube, there's this, um, we call it um, plant tube or plant community where people okay. make videos about YouTube, about plants, yeah. And uh, I know, I've been watching more plant videos on YouTube way before quarantine. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, other people also watch. Pero now, na, also in Instagram, when people see that other people have so many plants, they also okay. want that they start with a few, then they, they themselves become plantitas and plantitas. Okay. I have a question, uh, Leia's back. Huh? Uh, before I go Sorry, back to no, Leia, no. <laughs> yeah, you, you have problem with your internet. Uh, Bernice, I'm just curious now. You mentioned that uh, it's in YouTube. That's the reason why it became popular now. Um, uh, can you give us an idea, like for example, a YouTuber, a famous YouTuber about plants? How many followers does this person have? Um, 100,000 maybe to... Maybe oh 300,000. 300,000 followers? Oh my gosh. I think gosh. that was before quarantine, so I'm not sure. I haven't updated how many YouTubers. Um, okay, okay. How, how many Be subscribers YouTubers have? Before quarantine pa to, but uh, you mentioned na parang uh, nag-boom lalo yung plants, di ba, during the quarantine. Mm -hmm. So they would probably have more subscribers now. How about sa Facebook naman? Would you no, a very popular person in Facebook. Tapos in the dami of followers. I'm actually not familiar with Facebook, but okay. I know that on Instagram, mm -hmm. um, grave, it's crazy on Instagram. You mga plants then most plant okay. shops are on Instagram mostly, and okay. dun talaga and dami mga tao dun na nagsustart. Tapos biglang at the end of the quarantine, ano jungle na yung bahay nila. Jungle. <laughs> Like you can see the process on the Instagram na yung photos yeah. mo, this corner, isang plant lang. Tapos yung pag-team yeah, yeah, naman yung yeah. dog. Jungle <laughs> na yung bahay nila. <laughs> Shucks, ay, ano pala, no? This, um, yung plants pala can be really addicting, no? Yeah, um, yeah. Pero you know, I, 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 I was just thinking, no? It's really nice. Uh, this hobby kasi, you are taking, kasi when you enter a hobby, sabi niyo nga, it's like collecting probably stamps or you're collecting uh, baseball cards or things like those, no? Whatever it is, shoes, uh, iba gadgets. Ah, what's special about this hobby is you're, you're caring, no? Kasi anything that you collect, you care for it, eh. uh, You're caring for something that is alive. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung parang interesting part sa kanya, eh. It's, it's a collection uh, pero yet it is alive kasi you can't say that about dogs ha? na parang you're gonna say I'm collecting dogs eh di ba? <laughs> it's not like that eh. it, 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 um, you can say that I love dogs I take care of dogs pero you're not collecting them but with plants probably because they don't move they have that object uh, object uh, persona about them 
but yet they're alive. So you're collecting and yet caring for it at the same time. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, Leah, before we got yes, off, sorry, kanina, ha? <laughs> oh, you want to continue what you were saying? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, saan oh, ba ako na po, Tol? Yung, yung, wait, yung sabi yung, nga, you have to be sensitive to their needs. Oh, uh, ano yan? Advice for yes. uh, people who would go into plants for business or hobby. So what yeah. are your advice? Oh, yun. Basta, so don't get discouraged. Okay. okay. Plants know their timing, when to grow or when to bloom. So mm. it takes time to choose the right location or the right way to take care of your plants. Kasi ako... Uh, di ba sabi nga nila maraming YouTubers kasi personally I experienced na yung what is true for them may not necessarily be true with me kasi okay. yung, yung location, yung position ng sunlight yung mga ganon, you have to take yeah. it into consideration, yung humidity ng place yeah. so you have to spend time talaga to get to know your own plants Oh, Kasi, I see. Nga, as I mentioned kanina, di ba? No two plants are the same eh. Tsaka yeah, they yeah. adapt. Kaya yung akala mo, sabi nila, mamamatay yung gano'n. Sabi nga, si Nishan sa akin, I should um, water my plants once every week lang. Kasi nga, um, yung cacti, hindi sila gano'n ka ano. Pero ako, Minsan, hindi ko sila win ng water ng, lalo na pag tag-ulan, hindi ko sila win ng water in a month. And they, nagpa-flower pa rin sila and ano. Kaya, it depends really eh, on your, yung, yung environment na nandun yeah. yung plants na yon Minsan naman, I water them twice a week. Pag alam ko mainit, tas nagda-dry na yung soil nila. So, so iba-iba eh, depending on the situation long time na yun. So, yun nga. So, learn to use. At saka yun nga, gardening need not be expensive. Yun okay. yung isip nyo. Learn to use what's available and save mm-hmm. seeds. So, seeds. God, this is what I love about planting. Yung propagation. Kasi, ikaw, pero yun nga yun na, na mention ni Bernice kanina. It's good to know lang na meron ka palang plant na napakamahal. Mm. Yun, di ba? Parang, parang mas aalagaan mo siya, mas iya, ano mo yeah. na. Kasi kung ako tatanungin mo, priceless yung mga yan eh. Kaya, yeah. I really can't, ano, I can't really, ano, yung parang put an amount yeah. on the, yung, yung time, yung caring mo dyan. Kaya, okay lang sa akin, ha? sa choice mo naman yun, kung bibilin mo o hindi eh, with their prices. Pero yeah. yun nga, um, Uh, I can't really judge yung mga persons na nag, nagtataas ng prices. Pero yun nga, g- get into gardening. Mahingi lang kayo ng seeds, magpropagates lang kayo, mahingi lang kayo ng stem cuttings because plants are gifts that keeps on giving. Lagi sila, uh, every day, di ba? Parang ikaw, Bernice, siguro na experience mo to na grabe, anak sila ng anak, di ba? Mm-mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sarap. So, yun. Wag kayo, pero wag kayo rin ma-excite. Stick to basics, start small, and grow your garden beautifully from there. Kasi sila na yung produce for you, eh. So, you don't need to buy. Yeah, that's great yeah. advice. Wow. Okay, so remember uh, what uh, Leia said. Uh, patience. That's important, no? So when you're growing your plants, you're taking care of them. Be, be patient. Uh, and then number two is uh, uh, yung plants mo can adapt. So uh, you just, uh, parang sinasabi mo, Leia, you try to be oh, close to your plants. No? Parang you understand oh. them, eh, no? what they oh. need. They will let you know no, what, what they need. <laughs> so, um, and also, Uh, Leia said, you start small. You start small because they will propagate naman on their own eh. As long, uh, as long as you're taking care of them, dadami, lalago yan sila, dadami yan sila. So that's really good advice no, for uh, those people who are curious about this hobby and uh, who would like to, uh, who are starting uh, this hobby or moreover, maybe starting a business of plants. So, um, Thank you, Leia. Okay, 
Another question now, ah, wait, ah, question for the prizes. And again, uh, uh, let me mention that uh, um, there are people who are watching us live, but uh, look, we've noticed no, that uh, because of probably the schedule of people, not everyone could watch us live, but uh, they just uh, go to Luchi's channel, they go to Sustainable PH, and then they view the show at their own time. So um, regarding uh, this contest, no, uh, we will give it siguro up to tomorrow before we award the winners so that may chance then uh, yung mga, let's say, uh, they're stuck in work, tapos yun, manunood probably midnight or tomorrow, they also have a chance to win. So you guys uh, who are watching now, uh, give others a chance. Okay, so uh, <laughs> here's the uh, no, here's the next question. Why would you like? Why would you like to win a prize tonight? Okay, probably this is connected because I just love plants, or probably I want to have my first plant so I can start my business. Or probably you are in love with someone and you would want to have a plan. Hindi na uso yung mamimigay ka ng flowers ngayon. Ang bibigay mga plan. Oh, yeah. So, oh, iba na ngayon. So, <laughs> ano yung mamimigay mo? Hindi na bulak na. So, uh, probably, we don't know your reason, pero write it down in the comments and have a chance to win a plan for yourself. Okay. Um... Question again, Leah. Let me get back to you now. Um, people have started caring for plants this lockdown. Would you say this gave people the opportunity to realize and focus on what is more important? Shops, yes. <laughs> yes, I think definitely. Kasi yeah. caring for plants is like taking care of ourselves. Actually nga, sabi ko nga, nakocompare ko nga siya, it's like growing up yung babies mo. Ngayon, I have two grown-up la uh, ladies. So yeah. parang caring for plants is like taking care of ourselves. It's like taking care of our family. When you learn to take care of something else and look how easy and natural it is, it makes you have a ship of perspective kasi that every creation of God, including ourselves, kasi napaka-importante ngayon ng self-care, eh, Yes. Yes. Is meant to be taken care of. Di ba? Mm -hmm. God created us to be steward of His creation. Eh, tayo na creation, tayo ni God, eh. So we have to take care of ourselves. And what better way to take care of ourselves than to be a plantita? Kasi talagang sobrang, it's good for your mental well-being. <laughs> Oh, that's so true. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, I heard of so that. Bad. That oh. when you're around plants, parang, uh, uh, parang you have a good disposition. You're yes. happy, generally. <laughs> Totoo yan. I don't know if it's the oxygen or the way they look. <laughs> parang may ganun lang siya na ora, no? Uh, At sa yeah. nung umaga, instead of mm -hmm. cell phone, yung unang titignan mo, plants agad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least that's good, no? Rather than looking at social media, when it, sometimes it gets uh, it gets stressful, di ba? You're looking at plants, and uh, the the good th the good thing about it, di ba? When you look at plants, it's a stress reliever. It's the opposite. You feel at peace. Yes, definitely. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. uh, pwede ka pang ano magharvest. Para yung mm. lunch mo o yung dinner mo. Dumami sila. <laughs> Dumami sila. Ah, Mahal-mahal oh, kaya na yun ang fruits and vegetables sa supermarket. Eh oh, ikaw lang diba? nabas ka lang. Pipitas ka ng kalamansi, ng lemon. O di ba? Pinaalagaan <laughs> mo na siya, pinapakain ka pa. O saan ka pa, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, di ba? Oh, Kinokolekta mo pa. So, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Um, Bernice, question. What advice can you give this generation? Uh, I'm talking about our generation. I'm a part of you guys. Uh, what can you give advice to this generation, including the millennials? Well, actually, you are a millennial. On how important it is for us to care for plants and uh, the environment in general. 
Um, well, like, ano, Tita Leia said, yung, yung sabi niya kanina, yung basic needs. Um, pero, I guess, especially sa mga generation, sa mga millennials, um, contentment. Um, okay. Kasi, yun nga, I said na it's addicting. And, um, I see a lot of people, may ingit sila when they see someone else with a lot of plants. So, yung, actually, ako personally, ganun din ako before. So, yeah. It's really, ano eh, contentment on when to say, I want to slow down and care for my plants and stop collecting. Mm. Kasi, it's a, ano eh, parang ina-adapt natin yung old ways natin before pandemic. In yung rush mm. of the life into plants na, I guess in my, in yung, yung environment ko sa plants, it's different from yung, gar, yung farming environment and yung, yung kay Tita Leia na cap, cacti environment. Kasi yung environment ko is more on rare plants. <laughs> Kaya yeah, yung, yeah. yung rush of, of having to buy it on the spot because someone else is gonna get it before you. Yung ganon. Mm-hmm. So you need, it's really ano eh, to just be still, take care of your plants, tend to your garden, and to just be content in what you yeah. have. Mm-mm. That's nice, ah. Oh, to the people who are watching, ah, maganda yung Pinoy Tao ni Bernice. Diba? We mentioned kanina, this is a, um, a part of it is collecting, uh, taking that it's uh, it's an object. However, uh, what makes it unique is a part of it is caring because that object is actually alive. So, um, ang sinasabi ni Bernice is sometimes uh, this emotion of you trying to collect and collect and collect especially you want parang you're you're so psyched to get this kind of plant and then um you finally find find it and you know and, and yeah. it's very scarce there's probably there's only mm-hmm. one one plant available of that kind and you know that a lot of people are interested in that and then uh you can't get uh and well if you have the money at the moment it would be great but if for example you're uh, you find yourself uh, tight. Uh, you have to have that, ano, parang, uh, parang, uh, 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 what do you call this? Um, uh, Being thankful with what you have. Con- yeah, contentment, yeah, na mm-hmm. parang, uh, you should not forget what is important. Na baka mamaya, collect ka na lang ng collect, and you forget of care, of caring about the plants that you already have. And you forget yeah. to appreciate. Mm-hmm. Yes, and since yes. I believe Bernice, that's the kind of thinking that we shifted from uh, before the pandemic to this pandemic. I believe that, uh, I believe that during this pandemic, we realized um, we, we gave up a lot of superficial things, I would say. And then we realized what is really important so um and that's the reason why I think also na kaya nagboom ang plants lalo na during this pandemic. Kasi ano, life can get so commercialized na. Mm-hmm. Diba? It, it, it can get mm-hmm. so commercialized. Parang um, what kind of car you have? Is it better than this one? It's all about stature. Parang mga ganyan stuff. And uh, what this pandemic taught us is parang it, taught us to focus on the more meaningful things in life. Yun ang ano, natutuwa ako. Ha? I mean, kaya at the start of the show, I said, um, the pandemic brought bad things, but it also brought good. And I think, yes. definitely, hands down, plants is one of the good things that the pandemic yes. brought yeah. to life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll ask another question for our guest for their uh, price, okay? Wait, uh, let, let me just check the question. Okay, question. Where, to the, to the audience to add, type in your answers in the comments, we will check them, and then we will find out the lucky, the blessed winners. Where is Luchi's channel aired? Oh, shucks, this is such a giveaway, oh my gosh. Parang free, free, ano na to, ah, freebie plant na to. Ah. Where is Luchi's <laughs> channel aired? Which Facebook account? Okay, ah, that is so easy. Oh my gosh. Uh, so write your, your answers <laughs> in the comments. 
we will read them and then by random we will choose the winners and then we will contact you and let's talk about how we can hand to you your plan okay uh going back to leah and bernice leah i have a question for you are you personally thinking of transforming this hobby into a business but i think it's already a business right so um <laughs> is it is it a hobby for you or a business uh actually hindi siya business eh um uh hobby lang talaga kasi okay. before yun nga mahilig talaga magtanim yung mister ko tsaka yung parents niya tapos nung maliligo siya sa akin ang dala niya mga That's... papaya <laughs> <laughs> papaya. Yung mga this, ano, yung mga tanim this, niya, hindi yung mga tanim niya, yun ang dinadala niya sa tatay. Okay, ko, yeah, tsaka sa okay. lola ko, kay inang. So talagang uh, we grow up na as farmers eh. Yun. Uh, Kaya rin niya ako napasagot dahil doon sa mga tanim niya. <laughs> oh my gosh, Pero I'm not sure. Yung secret weapon niya, no? yung mga tanim. Okay. <laughs> oh. so, so, Gusto so, yun ang tatay ko, tsaka ng lola ko. But I'm not sure yet. I would like to see how it goes for sabi nga ni Bernice. Kasi nga, ako parang gift lagi ni God. Eh. Meron lang lang biglang tumutubo sa garden namin. Yung pala rare plant. Parang ganun. Parang I don't see it as ano nga sabi ko nga na isasell. Lagi ako nagpapamigay. Kasi very ano rin naman yung binan ko na pag humihingi ako kasi may nursery siya. Uh, sabi ko may bibigyan akong ganun. Very generous din naman siya. Even yung municipality namin sa Marilaw, they are very generous. Sa kanila nanggagaling yung mga seedlings ko na pinamimigay na eggplants and everything gano'n. Kasi it's, ano eh, nakakatuwa kasi it's you learn to appreciate what you have. Kasi pag yeah. nagpunta ka sa supermarket, makikita mo 20 pesos yung lemon, gano'n. Eh, samantalang mm. may tanim ka na, yeah. na, na sa, sa yung backyard. Parang Ang sarap lang nung feeling, mas, mas sumasarap yung ulam pag tanim mo yung nilalagay mo. Pero yun, my focus right now really is to, to spread yung my renewed love for plants to my friends and loved ones. And to spread okay. positivity and God's grace through my greens. Kasi pag nagpapamigay ako sa kanila, nilalagyan ko ng mga like this, ng mga Bible, Bible verses, so that they can they can feel the joy that I'm feeling. Yung, yung God's, ano, yung God's blessing to overflow okay. din sa kanila. Kasi parang libre lahat ng plants ko eh. Mm. <laughs> hindi ako, ano, okay. hindi ako, even yung mga rare plants ko, Bernice, napanalunan ko rin lang siya ro sa pabilisan <laughs> ng comments. <laughs> Kasi mabilis mag-comments yung dalawang anak ko. So, napanalunan ko rin siya. So, I, I don't think, ano, uh, I, I, let's see, let's see. <laughs> see here. So right now, you're not thinking of doing it, uh, you're making it into a business. Yeah, yet. pero magpapamigay yeah. ako na magpapamigay. Oh, wow, uh, shocks. We have a very nga, generous... Kasi anak na ang dami dami nilang siya. <laughs> ang dali yeah, nila talaga. True. Ang dali yes. nila. Ewan ko ba kung bakit uh, ang daming tubo, ang da, um, uh, dami nilang bunga. Yun yung kinaganda dito, eh, no? Uh, mm -hmm. If you are collecting things that are not alive, nako, they will not multiply un unless you buy eh. another one. Ito, oh. <laughs> because they are alive, eh. So you're caring for something, you're collecting and caring for something that is alive. They will multiply by themselves, eh. So yun, yeah. ang, yun ang beauty nito, eh. Okay, so as of now, you're not thinking of making it a business yet, but you never know, maybe in the future. Yes. You'll, oh, yeah, you'll go into business. Okay, thank you, Leia. Bernice. <laughs> Bernice, question. Would you say that there are many people caring for plants now? Are they, a grow, they, are they growing in number? Yes, definitely. It's okay. nice to see how many people are, you know, you can just give up plant and then maybe start lang sa one plant. Like, ako, um, I've always had a love for plants, but I, ha I wasn't able to take care of plants because of my bu busy schedule. So I just had one plant plant. Okay, and then okay. now when the people have more time, they're taking care of more plants. And it's nice to see people's houses be 
filled with plants. Even if, yeah. you know, they say, you know, una, I'm not a green thumb, my black thumb ako. And people realize that ah, anyone can be a green thumb man. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's so true. true no? <laughs> Plantitas and platitas. Nako. Uh, it's a byword right now. Sobrang uh, daming pa <laughs> na who are into plants. Oh my gosh. So, um, wait. Ah. Let me ask another question to our audience. Para you guys have a chance to win plants from ano, ah, Bernice at si Leia. Um, okay. Here's the last question. Last question for you to win a very nice plant. And not just a plant, but a very nice plant. We showed the pictures a while ago. Magaganda yung plants na to. Name one of the three hosts of Luchi's channel. Yeah, we're three. Okay? Just name one. Shucks, if you can't name me and you're watching me, um, <laughs> it's either I'm doing a really bad job or there is something wrong with you. Okay, uh, name at least one host of Luchi's channel. Tell winners that... Okay, so there uh, um, Those are our questions. We have six, six questions all in all. Again, the deadline for submitting your questions via putting your answers in the comment section of uh, of this episode is up to tomorrow. Probably tomorrow night, yeah. We'll give everyone a chance to uh, to watch and uh, uh, plug in their answers, okay? Um, okay, so uh, we, we, we are getting too much of a good thing. Uh, I, I think it's about <laughs> 9 o'clock already. Um, on, on a fi final note, no? Bernice and Leia, let's start with Bernice first. Uh, what can you say to everybody uh, uh, starting this hobby, starting this business? Or, or uh, would you like to share a message of how important it is to care for your, the environment, plants? Um, yeah. Uh, please. Okay. Um. Well, don't be afraid for plants mm -hmm. to die. Just try it. With anything naman, don't be afraid to, you know, I know with kids, they're afraid to run because they might fall and get hurt or afraid to ride the bike. Same with plants. Just don't be afraid for a plant to die because even if wala na yung plant, pero may soil pa rin, tapos dun yung roots, mag-grow pa rin yan. And it, it's okay. Okay lang na mamatay ng plant. It's a lesson learned for future yeah. plants. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, thank you so much, Bernice. Naka, it's so uh, it's so good to have you. Uh, thank you thank so much you. for taking the time. We enjoyed talking about uh, uh, talking about your passion, plants. It's a very interesting thing. How about you, Leia? Uh, any parting uh, words for our yes. audience? Yes, yes. I want to share. Um, Shots. Leia, you froze. Silea froze, but the plants in her background are moving. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're not. Silea is having uh, technical difficulties again. Um, so I, I'm not sure if she can log back again. Uh, sorry, there. no, 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 it's neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives growth. Okay. So in, even on the most barren soil, plants can thrive. And even in the most disadvantageous circumstances, plants can live. So in these uncertain times, let us try to enjoy and just let God believe that he is working behind the scenes and that the best is yet to come. Amen. Wow, that's really nice. Thank you so much, Leah. Thank okay, you. Um, before I Thank let you guys you. go, before I let you guys go, let me just uh, offer to you uh, a short prayer, very very short now, uh, para we we live on a positive note. Okay, let's close our eyes in the presence of the Lord. I, Lord God, I lift up to you, Bernice and uh, Leah. Uh, they have this great love for plants, which are your creation, oh God. And uh, this is such a beautiful thing. I think it's something that uh, more people should uh, go into uh, rather than uh, being preoccupied by not so important things with life. Oh, well, we think it's important, but really it's not that important. We should uh, 
go to something more meaningful. And uh, there's a lot of things in life that are, are, are very meaningful. And we are learning them during this pandemic. And one of them is plants. Um, these are your creation. There are living, living things. Um, they beautify our environment. And, uh, well, we can't live without plants. Um, they convert that carbon dioxide into oxygen, which we breathe to stay alive. So, um, Lord God, uh, please uh, bless the good hearts of our guests, Leah and Bernice. Uh, give them prosperity, keep them safe, and uh, always bless them. And uh, let the audience who are watching the show right now uh, hope they enjoyed it and uh, learn uh, insight about plants and the beauty of this hobby or business. We pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Carlo. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye, Leah. Bye. Bye, -bye Leah. You guys have a good night. Uh. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, that was a great show. Uh, it was very interesting. Uh, me, myself, I'm not that familiar with plants. I did not know that um, it is so uh, the in thing right now. And a lot of people are uh, collecting plants and they can reach uh, extreme prices, like what Bernie said. No? Um, so if, for example, uh, if you want to go into this hobby, well, it's a very good thing. You're caring for nature. Uh, it will, I'm sure it will while you're collecting them and caring for them it will give you peace you know there's a certain tranquility about plants eh? um and uh if you plan to do it as a business i think uh now is the best time more than ever uh because uh it is so boom right now uh, it's all in social media like what bernie said um there are youtubers where they have three hundred thousand followers or even more and all they talk about are plants so it appears that a lot of people are interested in this. So um, it was mentioned also in the show that um, there is a growing demand and it is uh, really high right now. So if you're going into this business, I'm sure it is a lucrative business. Uh, and it's something that is not affected by COVID. <laughs> so uh, that's one of the great things. Okay. So um, my takeaway for this is uh, uh, me who is not that uh, knowledgeable about plants, uh, I found it very interesting. I learned a lot. And uh, well, one thing that I, wa I want to say that I, I mentioned earlier, um, one thing that this COVID pandemic taught us, uh, like what I said, there are the bad things, but the good thing is it kind of taught us to um, let go of, well, it was, we were forced to let go no? because um, COVID changed a lot of things in our lives. But these things, if you take a look at them, they're commercialized. They're not really that, you realize they're not really important. You could continue living a uh, fruitful, uh, meaningful life without them. And uh, uh, this COVID taught us to let go of those things and focus on the more meaningful things. Um, this, the plants, is one, one of the examples of that. But there are other things in life that I'm sure that, um, kasi ano eh, diba? uh, uh, pre-pandemic, life was so fast, you're chasing after things, you know, um, uh it never ends eh parang uh, you get this gadget you want another gadget mga ganyan, ganyan. Um, the other person has this you feel that you want to have that too and uh it's it's i know parang all of those are good but it kind of went away during this pandemic so uh i think everything slowed down and uh when we slowed down, we realized, we refocused, we redirected our minds on things that are actually more, more, the only word I can think of is meaningful. Yeah, more meaningful. Um, plants, that's a part of the environment. You're taking care. That's nature. So um, uh, who would have thought that uh, it would, I mean, there are plant lovers like Bernice and Leah who ever since uh, were plant lovers, but who would have thought that it 
that that hobby of taking care of plants would become uh, famous. That plantitos and plantitas would become a byword. So that's a very good rave that's happening. It's a very good thing. So um, there. So that's my take. Now um, for our next episode, uh, we will not tell you the the title of that yet. It will be a surprise next week. And uh, you know, this episode for tonight is very much in line with the advocacy of uh, this NGO. Uh, it's called Sustainable PH, which has adopted our show Luchi's channel. So um, for the people who are still watching in Luchi's channel Facebook page, kindly uh, search in your phones uh, in Facebook, search Sustainable PH, and then please like that page. Uh, once you like that page, um, let me mention again, no? when you like that page, you will be able to watch Sustainable PH TV, which is not only uh, Luchi's channel that is being aired, but there are different shows. So uh, there's a lot of good content, a lot of good material that you can get from uh, liking Sustainable PH. So please like it, and you will still continue to see us there, Luchi's um, I would like to promote again um, uh, this new show that we're doing, uh, me and Kathy. Uh, it's a spiritual show. It's about ministry. It's about daily devotions to God. Uh, it's coming soon. Um, it will be aired here also in Sustainable PH. It's called Breakfast with the King. So um, we have uh, many special guests lined up. And my sister, uh, I'm sure you guys know her. Uh, she is Karen Davila. Uh, from Head Start in ANC. Uh, she will be our uh, mainstay guest in uh, our Breakfast with the King. So uh, please uh, tune in to that show and you will find out the devotions that Karen uh, brings to, to God. So, uh, and amongst other people. So um, there, thank you so much for tonight. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I know the overtime time of content, but that's fine. The, the topic for tonight was very interesting. And we will next we will see you next Wednesday. That's Wednesday, 8 p.m. Lucci's channel on sustainable pH. Thank you. Good night.